everybody. Welcome to AES 2016 here in Los Angeles. My name is Greg Chin. I'm a part of the Pro, Ad uh, Pro Audio team here at Avid, and we're really excited to be here. We're showing uh, our brand new uh, version 12.6, which just launched yesterday. So a couple of the main things in 12.6, you can see here, we have our new clip effects, which is based on our, uh, our famous channel strip plugin. So what you're able to do with clip effects is actually, like it says, it's a clip effect based. So you can see here, I've got a clip here that already has a couple of uh, dynamics and EQ, you get a visual response in the clip, let you know what's going on, and as I click on it, uh, here, uh, which is normally our universe window, which if you click, you can see right up here, I can actually still go back to my universe window, but now you can actually tab through and go between clip effects and the universe window. So you can see here I've got EQ curve and also some stuff going on in the dynamic section. So you can also do it you know, uh, with a series of clips, if I hold shift down and then select another clip, you can see now that I've got two clips selected that I can go and make a change to. We also have presets. You can uh, export presets from here into the normal channel strip in the session and vice versa. So you can actually pull up uh, presets from uh, the actual channel strip plugin as well. That's kind of the main feature, but we've also got some other really cool things we've, we've been doing and enhancing uh, since we came out with 12. Uh, we have uh, some new UI here, so I can, I can actually here, uh, I can actually right click and I can actually uh, now freeze all tracks in the session or choose what I want to freeze. And also, to the, directly to the left of that, I've got a new task manager button. So specifically, if I'm in cloud collaboration and someone's uh, sending me tracks, without me having to open up the task manager uh, or click something else, this will turn green and let me know that the task manager uh, has got some operation in there. Uh, additionally, we've made some, uh, some new changes to playlists and how we uh, operate with playlists. So we actually have something here called edit, uh, layered editing. I can turn that on and off there. That's a new button. Uh, and we've actually got uh, some really great ways to interact with our playlist. So if I've got a playlist available, you can see here on this uh, on this uh, MIDI track, uh, my playlist button is blue. That lets me know that I've got uh, other tracks behind there. Now, I've also got here under a uh, few different ways that I can I, I can take a look at things like my, my clips. So uh, we've got uh, shadows. We'll go ahead and click that again so you can see that. So now, if I've got uh, a clip that is overlapping something else, I'm able to go ahead and see that um, I've got that happening. So if, if I go ahead and zoom in here, let's say I break, uh, break this one up. It might be kind of hard to see, but I should have a shadow that's on here. And I, obviously, you can, you can see the transparency there. Uh, additionally, if I go ahead and let's say I was going to go ahead and push this to uh, a playlist, I can do that by just clicking over and you can see the blue lines there. I let it go, that, little, that arrow tells me that I've now pushed it down to a new playlist. We've got some other uh, changes, some, some stuff under the hood, some fixes to, uh, some improvements to uh, Workspace Browser and things like that. Uh, everything's available in the What's New Guide from 12.6, but those are some of the main features that we've got now. Yeah.